We drum here just about every day. This is uh, who we are and what we do. It puts uh, good energy into the air. It makes us uh, feel good and happy inside. In Salem, Oregon, there is a government-run boarding school populated entirely by Native Americans that was started in 1880. We bring in kids from all over the west side of the Mississippi. Last year, there were 24 different states with about 46 different tribes represented here at Chamawa. Some of them are pretty dismal places. Some of them don't have running water in their houses and electricity. There are kids that coming off the reservations that uh, a lot of drug and alcoholism, gang violence. So it's a wide range of kids. I represent the Fort Sill Apache tribe, Confederated Tribes of Siletz Indians. I come from the Hopi tribe. I'm a part of the Shoshone, Blackfoot, and Apache tribes. I am from Anchorage, Alaska, and I'm Yupik and Athabasca. I am from Pioneer, South Dakota. I am Sue. My name is Shea Lopez. I'm from the Nation from South Arizona. These reservations are pretty difficult at times. The number one thing that I see with these kids is not knowing how to succeed. How to succeed in school, how to succeed in life. It's just tough. Life can be tough sometimes. The school has been playing football since 1894. Yet despite their history, the Braves had their toughest year ever last season. Chihuahua went 0-7 and were outscored 378 to nothing. As an AD, it was hard to watch. Couldn't get the ball across the goal line. We had kids quitting left and right. Finished the season, we had 14 on the field. They were gonna finish. We talked at the start of the year that walking off that field, regardless of whether we won or lost, just to complete something, to finish the season, no matter how good or how bad, was worth it. And those 14 believed in what we were talking about. And they were gonna finish. One player who returned after last year's winless, scoreless season is senior Shea Lopez, a linebacker and running back who won only one game in his first three seasons on the team. I'm from Sells, Arizona. People say we have the big red division, but for me it's just small. A lot of dirt, hardly any grass, a lot of stickers. I graduate high school, just probably go to trade school since we I mean, can't really get a scholarship here. Well, for football. Let's go, boys. Go hard, go hard, go hard. He's always been positive. He's never really been a letdown kind of guy. And he's uh, gone through a lot the last couple of years to play on this team. Let's go, boys. He's our best player. He's our heart and soul. He's been that way for four years. This season, Jamal was switched to a JV schedule. In the middle of the year, the team lost to Sayo a school whose varsity team was ranked number one in the state. The Braves would face Sayo one more time in their last game of the season. This is who we're focused on for the next three days. Sayo. I want to go out on a high note. So let's show them what football is like here at Chamela. Morales, you know what I mean? Show them what Cali's like, what Alaska's like, what Oregon's like, Wyoming. You hear what I'm saying? We have an opportunity, but let's not get lost in it. Let's stay focused. And we preach that. We talk about how we may not win on the scoreboard, but make sure they feel it the next morning. Make sure they know they played you. Good work. Tomorrow's our next practice, our last practice. It's got to be our best practice. We're all here. We're all ready. These young men, they love to play football. They don't necessarily know how to play football in the way in which I was trained. But they love to play football. You know, when I first got here, I used to measure it by wins and losses. Then I tried uh, the moral victories to, to battle. I viewed that as success. Being able to have a young man take coaching and then be able to apply it. Sweep left. This is your read. This is your read. Don't try to watch the ball. Can you see the ball against Sayo? No. No. 
you get a group of people to buy into a cause and then be able to work towards that, you become successful. And this is a successful football team. What a great way to end the season. The football life comes to an end. We're going to give you guys an opportunity to have the seniors come up, and they're going to share a little bit of wisdom with you. I played football since I was in seventh grade, and not once have I missed a practice. And I still get on you guys to go to practice. What's the fun in having a little squad and not be able to hit each other instead of just hitting the bags? And I'd rather hit you guys instead of a bag. <laughs> Jeez, man. It's four, year, four years I played soccer and we always lost. We have to send him out with a win. We just have to. He's endured so much the four years he's been here. He deserves it. As the Chamawa Braves headed off to their final game of the season, senior Shea Lopez sat alone for the last football road trip he'd ever take. I mean, I'm not really worried about the win. It's just, I mean, it'd be awesome if we win. In his first three years on the team, he won one game. And last year, the team didn't score a single point. Now the Braves, with 23 players from 15 different tribes, were looking to end their season with a win. This is gonna be real deal high school football tonight. Not the five o'clock. Monday games that we've been doing. This is Friday Night Lights. Let's walk off this field with our heads up no matter what. Make sense? Chamawa took a 14-6 lead in the second quarter, but Sayo controlled the rest of the half. Hey, need to stop here, need to stop! God dang it! Defense, let's go! Hey, we got it, hey, we got it, right? Everybody knows Come on, you guys! Hey, 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 encouragement, okay? Give him encouragement. Come on, let's go, bro! Get it next time, come on! Come on! Listen, listen. A couple bad momentum plays, we could have bailed, all right, and gave it away. You didn't do that. I'm proud of you for that. Do you hear me? In their final half of the season, the Braves hit some big plays to go ahead. He's gone. He's gone. He's fast enough. He's gone. He's through. He's through. Is he gonna get there? Come on, Shay, get there. Yes! Nice job! Hey, right here! Right here! Stop the two-point conversion! Quarterback! Quarterback! Yes! Late in the game, Chamawa relied on their leader, Shea Lopez. <laughs> Minute 52, you got it in you? Kick off the whole deal? Listen to me now. We're up by eight. A touchdown and a two-point conversion ties the game. This thing isn't over, OK? We don't celebrate until there's zeros on the board. Does everybody understand? Tackled short, we went. Oh my God.
this is your last game, what are you going to miss the most about football? Going to practice every day after school. When I was a freshman, I like, see all these seniors crying. I'm like, it's okay for me. I got next year. Sophomore, same thing. It's okay. I got next year. Junior, I got next year. Senior, I don't got next year no more. What I want you to understand from tonight is that if you live life with the kind of determination that you played this game with, you're gonna have a lot of success. You hear what I'm saying? Let's go coach. Talking about school, talking about family, just talking about life. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes things get hard. But if you keep working and you keep trying and you keep figuring things out, it'll turn around for you, okay? The mentality that you had in the second half of this football game is the mentality you should live with. Do you understand? Okay, I am so proud of you guys. I am so proud of you. I love you. Great job tonight. Come on, Shane. 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 Come on,